All right, guys, welcome to the gun den. I'm rolling up today because apparently Dad's got something cool he wants to show us all. Let's see if he's in here. Yeah. Ooh, let's see what we got. Hey, Dad. Hey. How you doing? Good, good. You said that you had something you wanted to show everybody. What we got today? Hey, guys, we're going to do a little, uh, little video on the Winchester 94 3030. All right. And, uh, I think we'll uh, we just got a couple lever guns. We kind of decided we wanted some lever guns, so we uh, we picked true. up this Winchester, uh, made in 1976, mm -hmm. and we also picked up a Marlin, Model 336, Model 336, and 3030 also. Yes, and uh, it was made in uh, 1970. And uh, we'll get it out. Uh, There'll be a separate video on that. Separate soon. video on that. <laughs> but hey, I think we'll uh, we just got them. Uh, we got them used. And they look pretty good shape. We've got a good deal on both of them, so we just bought the set of them. So uh, I think we'll just try to uh, show you a little bit about uh, disassembling it, and we're gonna mm -hmm. clean it good and make sure everything looks good on it. And uh, then we'll have another video on uh, on uh, taking it out and shooting it. And yes. We're gonna do a little comparison I think video. we may do yeah. a little shootout, a little Winchester <laughs> Marlin shootout. So uh, hopefully we'll get that all together and uh, let you guys uh, See what we think, and we'll give you our uh, give you our opinion on it, uh, one way or the other. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start out with the Winchester. And uh, like I said, it's uh, it's just a standard uh, Model 94 Winchester, uh, garden variety on that. Uh, I guess it's uh, like I said, it's, uh, this was made in 1976 based on the serial number, and uh, looks like it hasn't been shot a whole lot. Stock but looks been, great on it. Yeah, everything looks pretty good on it. It uh, from the looks of the screws, it has. Someone has attempted to take it apart at least once, and uh, you, know, you can tell someone has, but I don't think they've done too much to it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just check and uh, make sure it's empty. And you know, we checked it several times, but anyway, just for the good measure, we'll check it. Looks like it's good on that. And uh, first thing you want to do is uh, take this screw out right here, butt stop. Mm -hmm. We'll pop this butt stop off of it. So let me go ahead and Get close up there so we can definitely see that. Screw right there to attach it from the butt stop. Yeah, Get that roll. The proper screw for that. Yes. Proper screwdriver, I should say. <laughs> now, we haven't cleaned these. We just got them from a uh, local Cabela's. So, we're going to see if we can uh, take them apart and kind of clean them all up and get them ready to go shooting because those of them are sitting in somebody's closet, you know, for no telling how long. All right. Put the screw right there. We're going to try to keep up with. Is. Looks like someone at some point put some Loctite just on it. Put a little bit of red Loctite on it, but it uh, certainly wasn't tight. <laughs> it, uh, you know, anything out of the ordinary. So. All right. That just, Attach the uh, butt plate there. That just slides off. Yeah. yeah. Everything looks, looks pretty good, good in there. there. Yeah. I don't think we'll need to. Uh, there's the butt stock on it. Yeah. And, Winchester uh, repeating uh, arms. Yeah. Pretty cool. We may clean a few little mm -hmm. skid marks on it there, but yeah. Oh no, that looks uh, that looks pretty good. We'll just set, set that, that to the side. side. Yeah. Over here. Ain't nothing that looks like there's any pitting or anything on there. That's not pretty... really even very dirty. So no. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, barrel band barrel bands off this one and this one. Okay. A little screw here. I'm going to get another see that baby gun. screw tip for this. Yes. Like you know, say when you're taking part of these guns, you gotta make sure you get the screws in the right spot. But that should be pretty obvious if you attempt to put one in and it doesn't quite go. You shouldn't try to force it. You know, always. Right, right. There's a barrel band screw there. I'm just gonna put that. What they look like in relation there? Pretty small. The other one up here on the front is on the other side. Mm -hmm. Just kind of press it forward there. Yeah. A lot of used guns, you know, you'll find that. Those will sometimes be knocked off or broken off. Or, yeah, a lot of times those will be missing. And uh, a lot of times you're, uh, I don't know about the Winchesters, but uh, a lot of the Marlins have a little offset mm -hmm. uh, attachment there that uh, they'll a lot of times be missing also. Mm -hmm. You'll see that in the next one. We'll Ours be... luckily had that. All hmm. right, now we'll just pull the magazine right out. Okay. Yeah, hang on a second. I'm gonna have to pull this just to, 
do I have to pull the magazine out before? There we go. Well, that wasn't what I expected. Oh, well, I'll tell you what I forgot to do. The reason I was having so much trouble with that is I forgot to take the screw out here and take the magazine cap off of it. <laughs> so, did the reverse way there. The reverse way. It didn't look like it messed anything up. No, it didn't mess anything up. Follower. Anyhow. There we go. This screw here should come out first, by the way. <laughs> There's more than one way to skin a cat. Yeah, man. You can... Looks like with these kind of guns, you can kind of... There's a lot of give with how you do them, it looks like. You know. All right, there's a screw that came out of that. Yeah. Notice how that one kind of bells downward there, kind of tapers right, off. I'll we'll just stick that back in that hole. And right. That way I'll yeah, know where right that there. went. Oh. All right. Okay, back there. There we go. I think we just sit right there. All right. Spring follower magazine cap. And so the four, the four grip there should be all... Yeah, the four grip will come off. Now... <laughs> It looks okay. Well, they needs to be cleaned pretty up a thin, little bit. Pretty thin right there, it looks like. But yeah, this has I'm kind sure of... sure it's thin all the way down through there. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of... Uh, wood there. Not a whole lot of wood right there, actually. Yeah. Pretty thin right there on the see end. That. Kind, of, see, kind of pretty pretty thin there on the end. Kind of. Right. Okay, now we've got all the wood off of it. And next we'll do is we will take the lever assembly out of it and okay. take the trigger out of it and the gate out of it and the hammer off of it. Then I think that then we'll slide the bolt out the back and we'll see how that, uh, then we'll be able to clean it. Get pedaling on it, and uh, now that we've got the magazine uh, out and the, and the hand guard off of it, mm -hmm. this you'll turn the rifle right like this, and this screw here, we'll take this large screw out right here. Okay. We'll set it aside. Okay. And this is the bolt. This is uh, riding up with a bolt. Uh, and if you do this one first, I think it'll come out easier. Then we'll just tilt it over. And. Uh, with block tool once again. Yes. I should be able to push this little pin out up in the frame kind of so kind of pull it take this down just a little bit and pull this right out. So you slide in there. So kind of slotted so it just slides right up in this there. Right up in there that nut goes in. That bolt and goes in. in. And then this we should get our little bolt this back here is what there's the back of your firing pin, and that's what holds your bolt. That locks up. Mm -hmm. That's what actually keeps the bolt from running out the mm -hmm. running out the back when it goes off. So kind of mm -hmm. see how the relationship of that was. It it just slides in the groove there like that, and it's kind of it is kind of dirty. We kind of need to clean the grooves, clean it up, clean yeah. where the where the uh, where the pin actually transfers there. We need to kind of mm -hmm. clean that up a little bit. All right. Out. There it is. That all looks real good. Clean up, clean that all up. And, mm -hmm. and uh, like I said, the gun. I can tell already. The gun. Here's the hammer. The gun has been. Sh it's set mostly. Yes. Uh, very little wear marks on it. Very little wear marks on it. So. And this screw here, this is, uh, there's the follower trying to come out on me, so. Yeah, it pushes the next cartridge up into yeah, the, it's the, uh, into the uh, chamber there. Take off that nice little screw right there. That baby should pop right out. There you go. And there it is. And then that will come right out. And there's that right there. That's your shell lifter. There you go. That's your shell up there. All right. Now, now your bolt should slide right out the back. Bolt should. Right there. Slide right out the back. And there it is. Alright. You can see that thing. Probably back up in there. It kinda is right there, guys. Fire and pin and everything in there. And there 
Just again, also, one more thing we can take out of this. Let me get a small yeah, screw right there. Your gate. Let's go ahead and take that out since we just closed. Let me take out that last little screw there. Yeah, there's a little short screw that goes on there. Mm -hmm. There's your gate. Your gate right there. All right. Now, this is a fully stripped down there. Oh, almost fully stripped down. Yeah, like I said, I didn't Receiver. want to take those little screws there on both sides. Mm -hmm. Those hold where the... Uh, I don't seem to take that apart. Mm -hmm. I mean... Real clean around there. Real good. There's nothing really... Nothing get behind it, but... Clean that area real good, and it looks... Uh, nothing looks war in there. It all looks real good. It looks like it hasn't even hardly... The tracks aren't even... Where the bowl rides is... Not even really... The blood is not even off of it, so...